Good morning everyone, today I'm sharing with you a few street photography tips here in the streets of India. Let's go! Alright guys, welcome to Jodhpur in India. The blue city, this place is magnificent and guess what? A few years ago I was so shy to shoot in the streets that I couldn't do anything. It was kind of crazy. I would try to approach people, I didn't dare to talk to them. I was... Uh, any of my pictures were just like grabbed, uh, hidden type of photos. So I decided why not I share with you the different tips that I use nowadays to actually capture photos of strangers in the street and also how do I immerse myself in an environment to get the best photos, in my opinion, for street photography. So there's no better place than India to do it right now. So let's go, let's get right into it, guys. So here's a great example. There's a fountain behind me. I mean, it's a well and people come and get water. You could come and sneak some photos, like snag some photos by hiding or whatever. But also what I realized also here in India is like people actually like to be having their photo taken, which means you can literally walk to them and ask them, hey, can I take your photo? And you say namaste, you say hello, you, you just say how are you? And then you ask them, you don't have to be too shy because usually you can break into it with just a smile. For example, I smiled at the lady, she saw I had a camera, I'm like, is it okay if I take a photo? She's like, yeah, sure, go ahead. And then she was even happy to, to just stand for a few seconds still just for me to grab the picture. So it's a different approach versus just uh, trying to hide and take those pictures. But whenever I'm shooting the face of someone, it's, you know, it's part of your identity, your face, your eyes, all that. I really like to ask people. It just gives me validation. It makes me feel more confident. I don't feel like I'm stealing or robbing from them. Now, if there is a scene like that guy on the window over there, where he's, he's at the window, maybe I don't need to ask for those. I will just grab them. And most of the time you won't really see the face of that person. That's how I, I approach it. Let, let's find something else around here. Interesting to shoot. There is so much happening and the buildings are so beautiful, so much history, so excited. If you're feeling bit shy whenever you're taking a photo of someone, after that just show them the picture. That's going to make a big difference because that person is going to feel a lot more comfortable. They're going to see what kind of photo you created. And you have to imagine if someone comes to you and takes a photo with their camera, you never know what they're going to do with it or how does it look and all that. So if you are able to show that person what you took, then they get really happy. And usually when it's a good shot, they get even more happy. It just pumps me up to see people like excited about seeing their photo that I, I just took. So don't hesitate to do that. It breaks the ice. It makes things a ton better. Another really good one also is simply when you're in a little street like that and you just love the framing but there is nothing happening is patience. Patience is key in photography. Simply stay here, wait until someone passes. In my opinion, it just adds to the scene to have a person in that frame. So I could shoot that with no one and I did. You can see the photo, but if I have a little more time, I'm just gonna chill here and wait until someone passes by. And since we're in India here, you know that the women are wearing those beautiful, colorful dresses. So imagine that a woman walking down that little alley with all the buildings in blue around. That just looks incredible. So be patient when you're trying to get your shots. Don't hesitate to wait in the streets until someone passes by in the right frame that you want. It's almost like setting up your scene and waiting until the scene happens. It's, you're waiting for life to happen in the scene you want to capture. If you're not comfortable shooting in a new location because you're a bit afraid or you don't know the country, you don't know how it is, maybe it's not safe, my recommendation is to hit up some people on Instagram, find some photographers who are around or, or just drop it in your stories that you're around and you love to go shoot with someone. Someone will usually reply to you or you will find someone that will be happy to go shoot some streets. And it's great to have a local perspective. So right now I'm waiting for uh, another guy, Mikash, that is going to join me. We're going to keep shooting after and it's going to be great. So it's going to give me a little sense of security. I can use different lenses. I won't be too afraid. One of you can watch around uh, while the other one is shooting and that's important. And also you can get shots of each other, which is pretty cool. 
I mean, photography is also not just about staying with yourself, it's about sharing stories and also sharing stories while you capture them with other people. So try that. All right, if you are shy, there is something to know is that you can shoot with a longer lens like 7200, 85 millimeter and all that. It will help you actually get over the fact that you have to get really close to people. Right now, as you guys know, I broke my 1635 millimeter and it's stuck at 16 millimeter 2.8. That's why all my shots are super wide right now and it makes it a lot more difficult. You need to get really into people's faces. It gives a different angle, different feel. It's cool, but if you can shoot with a longer lens, it's great now I don't recommend going with the 7200 2.8 it is a massive lens everyone's gonna look at you so the best thing in that case is actually as I mentioned the previous is to bring your friend Hi. so he finally joined me meet action yes correct Hi. photographer here in Jodhpur yeah. you're local from here yeah sometimes you're shy also yes. when you shoot people because uh, you never know yeah how about oh. their uh, reaction will be, so that's why. That's true, that's true. That's why, as I was mentioning earlier, just speak to people, it's, it's also nice. And uh, there's something kind of funny I, I will show you just in a second. Look, we're not alone, so. Hello. Hello. Don't be too shy, just, just smile and uh, have a good time with the people around you. It, it will always end up well. Guys, remember, everything I'm saying right now is basically my own tips, that's all. There is no bulletproof anything, it's just my own experience, how I shoot. One last thing I'm gonna share with you and something I love doing, maybe I don't remember it enough, but it's shooting through objects or simply having multiple layers in your image. Meaning, let's say you're shooting at 85 millimeter and you're in the street, it's very crowded like here. Well, what you can do is actually focus on the elements in the background and then you have all the people that are in the foreground. It gives really a lot of depth on an image and I really like those effects. So that's something to remember. It's another tip to get something different versus the traditional picture where you're like just straight on and shooting the people. So it's always, it goes back to the video where it was like put stuff in front of your lens. If you haven't watched it, go watch it out right now. But it's always super helpful in my opinion, to get a different perspective and different ambience in your photos. So with that being said, let's meet on the rooftop. All right, I hope this was helpful, guys. Let me know in the comments exactly what you're struggling with or what is the most difficult part for you when you're shooting in the streets. I shared with you those tips because they really helped me in the past. I was really shy, like I mentioned at the beginning, going on the streets and all that. Now I just accept it, you know? I just imagine that everyone's my friend, even the camera, and I just go and talk to them and just try to get some good shots. Also, remember, it's all about having fun. So when you get out there, remember, have a good time. If you're happy, you're gonna have happy photos. Now I wanna invite you to join me on Instagram. Go at PRT Lambert and Send me a DM, leave me a comment, and let me know uh, what has helped you, really. And guys, remember, get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. It's all about having fun with your camera. Hey, if it's your first time here, I totally forgot, but hit that SUBSCRB button and smash the notification bell. It's gonna make a huge dong, it's gonna be awesome. And I'll see you in the next adventure. We've got a lot more India, and then we're heading back to an iconic city. And I can't wait to share that with you guys. See you in the next episode. Bye. Oh, a bird just shit on my. Damn it. People are not gonna eat you. I can't believe how everything like is so photogenic here in India. It's crazy. I think I'm gonna organize a workshop for next year. <laughs>